Look, I'm just gonna get straight to it. You probably clicked on this video because you wanna know how I use my Apple TV to play PS5. So, I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. I'm just gonna get straight to it and show you how I use it, what you need to download, and also what the experience is like. The first thing you're gonna need, which is the most obvious, is an Apple TV. Also, you're gonna need a PS5. Next, you wanna to go to the App Store and just type in Remote Play. It's gonna bring up a few options. There's one called OneCast, which I haven't done because it says Xbox Remote Play and I have a PlayStation, so I just didn't use that one. But there's PX Play Remote Streaming. This is the one that I tried. You download that. Once you download that, you wanna take your remote, go down to the app that you just downloaded, and open that up. Now, I've already previously connected mine, but what you wanna do is you're gonna open up the app and you're gonna go through a brief registration process. What it's gonna actually do is go to your PS5, you're gonna to wanna to go to Settings, then you can go to System, and after you go to system, go down to remote play. And you're gonna see an option where it says pair device. Once you click on that, it should give you an eight digit number. At least that's what it gave me. Take that number, you go down to the Apple TV app, you plug in that number and it should connect. After you get it connected, take your PS5 remote, connect it to your Apple TV. And if you don't know how to do that, I can walk you through that real quick. What you wanna do is go to your Apple TV, go down to your Bluetooth, and it actually has a thing where it says how to pair game controllers. Once you click on this, it'll give you clear instructions. So for the PlayStation 5, what you're gonna wanna do is hold and press the PlayStation logo button and the create button, which is the button in the top left that looks like the option button. Hold that and it should start blinking and then you just click on pair and it just connects. After you do that, what you can do is you go down to the settings here and by default it's on 520p, which I'll show you the difference because I did one with 520 and one with 1080, but you can change it to 1080. You can choose up to 60 FPS. You can't do 120, unfortunately. And I, you can enable HDR if you need to, but that's basically the, the basics of what you need to get started. As you can see here, the buttons control the Apple TV. So what you wanna go ahead and do, collect to local device. It's gonna sit there, it's gonna try and find your console. This is gonna take, I don't know, uh, 15 seconds or so. Uh, probably, especially if you do it for the first time. But it honestly doesn't take too long, but if anybody's ever used remote play, you, you kind of understand the, it takes a second for it to connect. One thing I do want to highlight while it's doing this is my PS5 is hardwired, but my Apple TV is not. So there will be a little bit of delay. Um, and I'm going to show you two different types of styles of games. One is a shooter and the other one is a story mode game. And like most people experience, anytime you use remote play, it is always almost better to just play story driven games as opposed to games that have precise timing, like shooters, like Fortnite or Call of Duty, and thing like that. You wanna play more story-driven games to where reaction time is not a key critical part of the gameplay. So now I've connected to my PS5, which is hardwired upstairs. As you can see, the buttons work, right, right, left, left. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into probably Fortnite. Uh, I would play Call of Duty, but I, don't, I can't afford to mess up my KD. Not for this. So I'm gonna start Fortnite. As you can see, the buttons right here work. You can go left, right. hold on, wait a minute. Oh, I, got, I got something here. Okay, so you can click the top buttons, the R1, L1. It, it works just like a regular you know, control on your PS5. So it's a basic remote play experience and we're gonna go ahead and log into a game. Shout out Papal Team. Get a little move for you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The first thing I wanna point out is uh, even though like for this type of game, you can move around and it feels just fine. Once you get into like an actual, you know, conflict or whatnot, if you ever have to like re-aim sometimes with centering or like getting back on track with the delay, it's kind of hard when somebody's constantly moving. When you first initially line up your shot, you might be able to stay on track, but once they move off a little bit and you got to try to catch up to where they are, it can become very difficult. But this remote play has always primarily been like that. But like I said, one key thing is my PS5 is hardwired but my Apple TV is not. So depending on how this goes, as far as like interest in this, I might do another video with the Apple TV hardwired and the PS5 hardwired, but until then, you know, I'm just gonna show you what it, my experience was uh, using it.
Now the next game that I want to try and connect to is a more story driven game. It's not a high intense uh, action type of game like Fortnite. So we're going to be playing Assassin's Creed Shadows, which I've already beaten, which is a pretty, pretty great game if you've never played it, man. It's my first time playing Assassin's Creed, but like uh, I had an amazing time playing it. I still think Ghost of Shim is better, but you know, visually, this, this game takes it actually. So I'm just doing a little moves here so you can see that the controller is still controlling the game. Uh, in this type of game, it won't matter as much because you're kind of doing like one-on-one -on -one duels and stuff where you're, you're, you're feeling your opponent out, you know when to strike, when not to strike. So it's not as an intense game like something like Warzone. Um, I'm gonna show some, some fights, but I kind of gotta be careful with what I show because this game is kind of, if you know, you know. I'm about to bust up in this little area, see what they got going on. It looks like they want to start some trouble. So now, get straight to the action. Dodging, not too bad. Striking, not too bad. Again, this type of game is way better than playing something like a Fortnite or Warzone because you're gonna have a terrible experience playing those type of games. So if you just want to remote play and like play something like just to continue your story from upstairs or another room or wherever, however your, your home setup is, this is feasible. I, I you know I can deal with this, but I, I would not ever try to play like the other games that I mentioned already. And here's just another scenario of gameplay in a more slower pace uh, story driven game. Just gonna come here and start a little bit of trouble, whatnot, but I actually gotta go ahead and cut the footage right here because this is where it's, it starts to go off the rails, you know. They also have a pro version uh, with pro features that I want like to mention. I didn't do that, I just got the, the free one. Um, but it says it comes with full screen stream support, which I'm already in full screen, so I don't know what that's about. But gamepad, button mapping and hotkey support. I will say, for whatever reason, uh, if you push the, 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 the PlayStation button, like to go back to your dashboard, it would just bring up the icon in the top right of your Apple TV, like as if you're using your remote and you're trying to like log off the TV, which is weird. So I don't, I, I don't know if you have to actually pay to be able to go back to your dashboard, which is, is, is weird if that's the case, but I just want to point that out. If you're just going to be playing a one game and not like game switching, then it's fine. But um, I got to look more into that. You might even be asking yourself, why would you remote play on an Apple TV when you can remote play to your phone, your iPad, your MacBook, a PlayStation portal? Why an Apple TV? Well, because I like testing things out. I like seeing what are my limits and what are my restrictions. And I heard that you can do it on Apple TV. And guess what? I don't have a PlayStation 5 downstairs, okay? So get off my back. I have a PlayStation 5 in my gaming room, and I have another one in my bonus room. But I don't have one downstairs. But I do have an Apple TV downstairs. So therefore, I want to try it out for the sake of science. If you made it this far in the video to hear my little rant, then shout out to you. If you liked this video or found it helpful at all, or even simply enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, share with a friend, and even consider subscribing if you like stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one.